filming again it's literally been months and I mean months I just can't even believe it. it's crazy um, so I just wanted to do this fall inspired look for you guys um, you guys can see it right now and also I did upload a basically kind of like a life update plus a chit chat to kind of um, explain to you guys like where I've been and why I haven't uploaded. So if you want to go check that out, um, I will leave that link in the description box. But if you want to see how to get this look, please continue to watch and I'll see you guys in my next video. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is applying my foundation, which I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me. This is the matte and poreless one. I'm just going to take it with my fingers all over the face, and then I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender. And on that beauty blender, I'm actually going to be using Physicians Formula Argan Oil. It does have gold in it. Um, this, I did some research and I found that this is a dupe for the, I think it's the Elixir or, I don't know. It's one of those oils that all the, you know, bigger girls are using that has like the flakes of oil in it. I can't remember the name of it, but I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. I found out this is a dupe for it because I did not want to spend $30 on it. And this was only $15 at Walmart. So I did finish my eyebrows. I used the NYX Micro um, Brow Pencil, pencil sorry. and then for under the eyes I'm going to be using this um, waterproof incredible concealer by NYX just because it kind of has like an orange tone in it. And then I'm going to be going in with the full coverage NYX concealer and I'm going to be dropping some of that um, oil into that as well just because underneath my eyes does tend to get a little bit dry which is why I wanted to try out this oil. So I mix it in with my concealer that way um, throughout the day it just doesn't look as patchy or as dry underneath the eyes. So then I'm going to be taking this airspun um, powder. It is in translucent and I found that this is a dupe for the um, Laura Mercier translucent powder. Um, so I'm just going to be taking that with my beauty blender and applying it basically in the same spots that I put the concealer. So I'm just going to be applying tape um, near the outer of the eye just so we can get a nice clean look. And um, I just applied the same concealer I used underneath my eyes on my eyelids just to prime it a little bit. And then I'm going to be going with Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance. This one is Regal. And this is what I'm really using for the whole entire look just because I thought that it matched so perfectly with the um, eyeliner that I'm about to use. So basically I'm just going in with two different size brushes. One is a fluffy dome brush and then one is a smaller um, dome brush. And I'm just going in and I'm picking up that same color and just blending it out and blending it out to give it a nice transition from like a dark to a light um, making it more of a nice very gradual look so just to clean up the lid a little bit I'm gonna be going in with that same concealer um, just to clean up the lid again um, that way I can lay down the white that I'm going to be using for the lid So from that same palette, I'm going to be grabbing Tempura, I believe is how it's said. I'm going to be going underneath the brow, the brows, um, just to give a little bit more of a definition. And then I will be going on the lid and the inner um, tear duct as well.
now it's time for the liner, and this is the Sila um, Stay All Day Eyeliner. This one is in amber, and you guys, I found this actually at my local TJ Maxx. It was on sale for $4.50, and this retails at any Sephora or Ulta online for about $20 to $22. So um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I would highly do that because I actually found a couple of great finds at the local TJ Maxx. Also at a Nordstrom Rack, you guys can find really high-end makeup for half the cost, sometimes you know, more than half the cost. But anyways, I just love the color of this eyeliner. I thought it was perfect for fall. And hey, it was like 75% off the normal price. And somehow that Anastasia um, eyeshadow matched it perfectly. So that's why I, I did it the way I did. So I'm just going to line the top of the um, lid with that eyeliner. And then I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit, which I actually did get at my local TJ Maxx as well for $19.99, you guys. Um, if you know, these actually retail for about $40. So another great find. Anyways, I'm going to be putting in that oil again and then just blending it out with um, a beauty blender. And then I'm going to be going in with a Makeup Revolution um, blush palette. They actually have these at Ulta. It is a new, um, I think it's like from UK brand, but I highly recommend it. It's super pigmented and creamy. Um, I'm actually really loving the brand. And for the lashes, I actually put on Salon Perfect 614 lashes, and I'm going to be going in with the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara on um, the top and as well as the bottom. So lastly for the lips, I did line it with like a more neutral pink tone lip liner and then I'm going to be going in with Wet n Wild Mink Brown. It kind of had the same tone as the eyeliner and the eyeshadow so I just thought it would look good together. And that actually will complete the look you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching.